I make a shortcut on the beginning of the video for some people just want to have some idea about how to um, separate in the screen lit and the touch screen for the um, two, uh, 2020 HP touch screen laptop. Uh, it's quite similar compared to disassembly um, a Lenovo touch screen. The Lenovo um, screen, they put the double side tape uh, remove sticker uh, at the bottom but the HP, they put it on the top. Um, after peel up the corner, you just use some um, hope to gain inside. You will, you will see some of the um, the, uh, the remove um, stick paper and put the hold into the, the hold of the paper and put it out. This is the um, design by the factory, uh, HP factory, um, for the engineer or the repair people um, to disassembling, uh, separate the screen lid and the screen panel. I couldn't find out any of the information from the internet to disassemble a 2020 uh, HP touch screen. So um, I already disassembling this screen using the traditional way. And the following the video will be uh, show you um, why um, this machine need to disassemble um, the, the touch screen um, and the uh, what um, is another way to disassemble it. This HP MV laptop um, touch screen um, is a um, very, very new um, model. Laptop is fully metal case. There's no damp, not dropping, no water damage. But from this side, you can see the, the screen is coming out from the case and the hinge is fully loose. There's nothing wrong for the owner uh, how to use um, this laptop. The owner just using this laptop for the daily basic for the, um, his work. The screen is functioning normally. The glass is not cracking. There's no deadline. The touch screen is fully functioning. Just one day, customer open the lid, and the hinge just straight away crack. The laptop just six months old and still six months warranty is left. We speak to the HP. Uh, try to convince them um, this uh, this issue is their a uh, factory fault. Is something wrong with their material? Is um is not very good, and it should be covered by the warranty. And their phone line just keep asking, have we uh, have we dropped the laptop or locked the laptop to some corner, or um is there anything failing into the laptop? We also sending a lot of picture um, about this machine to the HP um, to convince them that um, it's metal, fully metal case. If any impact on the laptop, uh, you will believe um, and some mark or any damp. Uh, but uh, on this machine, um, the case is, there is, is in perfect condition. Uh, even there's no scratch at all. Also, we raised the case to the uh, their supervisor because the front line and uh, they can't make the decision, and they keep a uh, refuse uh, for the machine return. At the end, their uh, supervisor uh, accept the machine to return, but um, he only can make the decision uh, when they receive the machine and doing some inspection. Uh, we thinking um. Send the machine back to the HP. Uh, the risk is too high. At the moment, the uh, hinge uh, holder on the screen lid is fully coming out. The screen is won't be able to close properly. Um, if we send the machine back to the HP and the glass, um, the touch glass and this old screen is quack during the transit, and the warranty will be hundred percent gone. Even the screen is not cracked when they receive the laptop. There are still some percentage um, they um, try to refuse the warranty. And if they refuse the warranty and send back the laptop to us, um, there's no guarantee that the screen might be cracked during the transit or not. And this screen is uh, extremely expensive. So at the end, we decide um, to repair the screen by ourselves because at the moment the screen is still working, functioning and working fine. As you can see from the outside condition, 
the the screen is uh, no damn no scratch at all let's take out this broken hinge and then we can have more space to put the plastic cutter uh, into the um, the screen Well, here we can see all the hinge holder, they are all broke. The plastic is not strong enough when they build this laptop. It's the metal case, but inside the uh, hinge holder is still plastic. To separate the screen from the lid, normally we're using those plastic, very slim and strong plastic or some small car to insert into the double side tape area between the screen and the, uh, and the lid. At the beginning, we just put a um, very, very slim, just a little bit alcohol solution uh, on the car and insert to the screen. Um, that will be help uh, on the beginning to um, quite easily to insert uh, the plastic cup into the um, double side tape. And then we need to very, very slowly to move the card to separate the double side tape. It takes very, very long time and uh, it needs a lot of patience. After disassembly the screen, we can see inside the structure, they actually put two of the uh, metal uh, supporter behind the screen. And on the corner where I peel off the supporter, I, I see the, um, the paper for um, taking out the double side tape. And then I realized um, actually um, the easy way, probably the easy way, and the f um, when the factory, um, they, they do left the way for the people how to um, disassemble uh, the, the glass but reach to the um, this, uh, the double side tape uh, remove paper um, uh, reach to this area is quite risky uh, we need to peel it off the um, the corner from the corner and to um, to uh, reach to this area 
And the corner area is um, usually is the most weakness of uh, area for the glass. Peel it off from the corner. Um, if not lucky, the screen might crack straight away. Uh, if your screen is already cracked, probably this way is a lot more easy and uh, a lot more fast. But if your screen is still in good working order, you just need to separate them to do some repair uh, internally. Um, probably uh, is um, is quite risky. Let me repair the hinge holder before we put the hinge back. The plastic is too weak, so I put actual fiber on the metal lid to make it stronger. Those uh, double-sided tape, uh, they are reusable uh, after using the alcohol to wash uh, both of the sides.
the metal support behind this, uh, I already put it back behind the screen uh, auto uh, also the um, old clicker um, this, uh, the uh, the holder I already regrouped them uh, back to the the plastic after checking now it's uh, ready to put back the screen to the to the screen lid. Now the hinge is strong enough. Let's start put everything back. After repair, now the, uh, the screen is stronger and it also can be opened by one hand. Open and close, uh, the metal is not bending, it won't change his form. The screen is no deadline, no white spot, the touch screen is, is functioning okay. Wi-Fi area, everything is okay. And it's ready to um, return to the customer. 